a very good morning to you i'm just sitting here putting the bracelets on we're gonna be making some really really lovely bracelets today i will turn you down and show you the samples properly i love this technique this is have to be again <laughs> one of my favorites because we're using very minimalistic materials so we're going to be using eight millimeter crystals and we're going to be using size 11 seed beads and we're going to hug the crystals with the seed beads a very very lovely technique how's everybody this morning it's tuesday again it <laughs> comes around every single week <laughs> bless um and I'll just pop this last bracelet on and then we could go oh, no there's a green one i forgot about this color um i had to again <laughs> I couldn't just have two colors or three colors I made up I think we made up 11 colors in the end in all the lovely bracelets here and I have to say a big huge huge thank you to Brenda because she helped me to make um, all the samples up otherwise you like you would have only had two because <laughs> at the moment I'm just sort of so busy but thank you Victoria Victoria just popped the coffee down here for me bless her she's studying from home um her uni is online at the moment so let me just move this coffee just over here just in case i don't want to send it flying because you know me i would right so let's have a look let's catch up with your lovely comments and then we're gonna get started morning gt gwen diana joe lorna oh good morning lorna lorna i've seen your picture you had a little go at the Last night at Creation Station, we had a little go um, making these little triangles. I had this idea in my head. Um, hold on, let me just turn the sun off um, because it's just so 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 light. I, I feel like I'm a ghost. Yeah, actually, I'm not turning the sun off. I'm just gonna <laughs> gonna pull the curtain in a little bit. There we go. That will be better. No, not um, so much the sun is uh, shining on at me. So I've seen the picture you made, um, you popped the picture up there yesterday, um, having a little go with, I loved it. I think you just need to do a little bit more. I really did, did love it. Um, good one, Diana, Joe, uh, Paula, Rachel, Susan. Susan is saying happy December to all. Oh yes, it's 1st of December today. So we officially we have 24 days until Christmas. Woohoo! Good evening, good morning, Jane, <laughs> Christine, Katrina. Katrina is saying it's cold but sunny in London. It's cold and cold and sunny here as well um, in Frinton. Um, it's a bit breezy, but um, it looks like a nice and bright day. Um, good morning, Jean, Margaret, Amelia, Sue. Oh, she's opened the first uh, window on her advent calendar. Oh, bless. Um, good morning, Lucy. Joe. It's already 1st of December. Yes, is morning, Sheila. Any. Mahendra. I, so, I hope I said your name. What a lovely name. Good morning, Pamela, Brenda, Carol, Miranda, Jane. Um, Lon is saying hi everyone just a quick update on my daughter's scan at 8 this morning five of the list for CTs guided biopsy about 12 so hopefully allowed to come home about four fingers crossed we could be we, crossing fingers for you Lona and you're sending you hugs and kisses Um, if any of you if you don't know um, Lona's daughter um, had to be taken into hospital and um, we just sort of sending as much love as we can to her to um, help her through this time is so it's so worrying, but, but because especially in the recent times, because sort of you can't go in there and be with people. Um, good morning, Pamela. Um, good morning, Lucy. Um, uh, Lucy said that was the first place that I created. Wasn't happy with it. Might have a go with crystals and see if it looks neater. Um, yes, have you gonna go through all today and you're gonna have a look. Good morning, Ruth, Miranda. Diane Sunny in Manchester love the frost pattern on car. Well, I didn't go. I didn't have to go out very early this morning, so I don't know if we had a frost. I have to ask Simon because he was driving the children to school. Morning, Susan. Um, the sun is at is Bilderston. Bilderston. I hope I said that right. Morning, Jean. Lo lovely and sunny here wherever you are, Jean. Um, morning, Sandra. 
<laughs> Good morning, go first day not working as I took redundancy for my job. Hopefully we'll have more time for reading, but my three children not so sure. Oh, bless you. Um, good morning, Jane. She's saying she's got four different projects on the go. Um, Lucy is saying, um, keeping your daughter in my thoughts. Hope it all goes well. That's goes for Lorna. Um, Good morning, Janet, Susan. Oh, there's so many of you here. Lights. I'm, I'm gonna have to. Uh, Linda is from Fancyville in the USA. What time is that where you are? It must be about five, six o'clock in the morning. Do let us know. I'm rubbish with time zones. Uh, morning, Betty. Sandra saying it's chilly. Sue so saying it's stains today. Sunny in stains today. We'll be thinking of you now. A lot of love, lot of love is, uh, is uh, sending to Lona's way today. I think she needs it today, just like, just to be, a lot, lot of lot, hug, virtual hugs and kisses. Right, everybody, I'm gonna turn you down and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna show you the samples. I have got some samples here with the pearl pattern made up as well. So I'm gonna show you what's the difference. Oh, this one has got a thread hanging out of it. So I'm gonna show you what's the difference and how does it look. Um, this is again something when i was making them up with the pearls <laughs> i love the pearls but then when i started to make the same pattern up with the crystals i love the crystals more so it just shows you like changing one particular bead in your pattern and you're doing the same pattern still um can give you a very different look so i'm going to turn you down i'm going to show you all the lovely samples and then you can let me know what color you want to demo with and i'm going to get it out and make it right so if you are new today please put new in the comments because we love 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 to meet you um we, and welcome you to our little beading community here if you are new and you don't know me i'm kitty robinson um I'm one of the designs are totally beads and bringing you loads of projects different techniques and from sunday to wednesday we are live 10 a.m every day right i'm gonna turn you down and then we're gonna get started in the make let's just get a little bit more light on here turn that light up and we're gonna have a look i'm also gonna zoom in a little bit there we go so these are the new crystal samples how gorgeous they are so what we are creating we are creating the seed beads are going to hug our crystals around very easy technique you're going to start or start straight off putting the clasp on one end and beading from one end all the way to another the start the um, style of the stitch is as you can see if i turn it sideways you can see that um the beads somewhat sit a little bit above or the crystal beads see sit somewhat above the um, seed beads themselves so it's a really easy um and nice uh, technique let me just pop this on so this is the crystal version so we used to have i did a pearl version before but i actually prefer the crystal version now so that's the pearl one I think with the crystals you just get a little bit more sparkle and especially towards the end of the year now and the year we had we definitely need the sparkle in our lives this year so we got 11 different colors on the website i'll show you just in a bit but each what you have to remember when you look at the website that each one of those kits is going to make three bracelets so there is enough there's 19 crystals on my bracelet and i have got quite a chunky wrist but there is three clasps in your kit there is about 70 72 crystals so it's enough to make three bracelets and even a little bit bigger than my size if you are sarah's size you always joke with this add an extra cup clasp in your um bag because then you can make even more i just love i love all the colors and i love the crystals as well um, I, I I do love this black diamond with the, I'm just bring it up and I'll show you I do love the black diamond with the silver cloud crystals and um, that silver with black more of a monochrome this one is um, got uh, the dark seed beads have got like a, a tinge of purple in them and the crystals are more like a bronzy color and then going this way this is our navy blue um, I love the teal 
I love the aqua as well. I love the seafoam green red, obviously for Christmas. And there's a little um, very pale pink seed beads with your white AB crystals. And as you see on the, <clears throat> excuse me, I need to take a sip of my coffee. As you see on the AB crystals, there is the pink shine. The pink shine that um, they'll, it's got the um, so it's, it goes really nicely together. So, which color would you like me to demo with? And I'm gonna get that one out and a demo. Have a little think, and in the meanwhile, I'm gonna show you the website. So, you're saying she loves the silver one. <laughs> I mean, they're saying I want them all. Um, they look lovely and sparkly. Oh, they are really, really nice. And if you just want a sample, simple make for Christmas, um for little presents or like you know i'm going to tell you the price in a minute and you will be surprised um you can make three bracelets just keep in mind you can make three bracelets out of your um out of your kit it's really nice and easy like where is my website let's pull this up over here just one let me just close this down and i'm going to go into screen sharing mode and i'm going to show you all the lovely things on the website right here we go let's move this over a little bit and make it a little bit bigger so by now you know the drill you can go on our home page and you're gonna quickly kick on click on the home page so we do have this um, little button at the top which is said video tutorial 10 a.m facebook ones if you click on this one it will take you directly to the facebook uh, page you can also go into categories and choose facebook tutorials you can get into that way as well now every single day um well we had a video it's on here all the way back to march look at all those lovely projects we've been doing and this is only the November one. So once, um, probably the next couple of days, Molly's gonna gather all the November ones together and gonna end in, add it into a category itself. So this is October tutorials, look, September, August, July, June, May, April, going all the way back to March. You got about 200 tutorials on there. So it's very worth to go in there and have a look. And we very quickly just wanna point it out to you the let me let's go into the angel decorations so if you go into the angel decoration and there is this button here because i know facebook has been changing things and you've been um saying that you have been losing some of the videos so if you click on this um uh, button then um it will take you to facebook page and it will start the video for you there we go so that's me showing how to do the angels so do have a um, do have do take a um, advantage of this because all these links are on our website We're next to the relevant product. But if you want to get any of the products, if you got any of the beads at home and you just don't want to use it up, it's a perfect place for you because you can go and you can have a look all those different things what we did backwards, and the link will be there for the tutorial on Facebook Live. Without further ado, let's go into today's one. Now, the price of the kits are $9.99. Um, you need to add needle and thread as an extra because here at Total Beads, we like to, we like to, um, sort of keep the price down for you because if you had uh, any of our previous kits you will have needle and thread left over and you know you might have purchased needle and thread already so we want to sort of keep the price down however Simon has given us a 20% off today so it's $7.99 to make three bracelets not one not two but three bracelets I mean how great is that very easy technique I'm just going to show you just in a second when we're going to go in it how easy is to make one of these. Check out on the website, we've got 11 different colors and um, the amethyst one, black diamond, um, blue Car Caribbean blue, so Molly has named them over. Um, the name of the kit is the name of the crystal. So do go and have a look at that one. Right, let's come back to me, to my desk, and we're gonna go down and making right. 
So let's have a look. A lot of people saying red, then saying green. The sea from green, you mean lovely? Let's have a look and what we are. Oh, there's quite a lot of text here. So, um, silver, red, love the blue ones, red, white and pink, red. We've got three for red, <laughs> red or green, red five, green for two, red six. Red seven. Um, oh, Janet is saying, I would love a rainbow over a crystal one. We have to get more than one of them and then put them together. Red eight, silver cloud. I think red is winning. Um, what size crystals they are? They are eight millimeter crystals. Kimberly is saying, a bit late today. I hope everybody is well. And Sandra is um, voting for red as well. So we're going to go and have a look have a go at making the red one as well uh, this is actually quite a nice test because i always try to stay away from red when demoing because sometimes you get the haze around the red but let's do the red one today so we're going to have a go and do the red one i think that's going to show up quite nicely um as well and quite a nice color so let me just get my beads out here i'm just going to grab some thread very very quickly and we can get making find a straight needle. There we go. So very, very easy technique. We're gonna start with um with the clasp at the ends straight away. So I love when I do bracelets or stitches where you start with the clasp and you work from one way to another because um it's already there, it's already on it. Um, sometimes you do bracelets when you make the main stitch itself and then you add the clasp later. In this instant, we're going to start one end and work our way all the way to the other. And just trim the end of that thread. When you want to thread a needle very, very quickly, it never really happens quickly, does it? Go, come on, you go through. That's it. Usually have like a little lipstick or a little um, lip gloss on, and then let me just add myself in the corner here. And then it's quite easy to sort of bind the end of the thread together. But sometimes it could be the needle as well. I don't think that's a new needle I'm trying to thread here. Right, third time the charm, as they say. Come on, you go through. Oh, I think we are good. There we go. So I'm gonna thread up a couple of arm span length and I'm gonna leave my bobbin on there just as I start with. So I have, an, um, I'm using my bobbin really as my bead stopper in this instant. Um, but he's saying it would be good if you could somehow put your suggested color of thread to the kit. Um, so what happens is but in the kit, um, when you go in there and you add thread and um, needle, the guys at the warehouse is going to pick the right color to go with that thread. The right thread <laughs> to go with those beads. And it's only in, only in the morning. Right, so you can make this um, bracelet smaller or bigger. I mean, there's one bracelet that was made out of these beads and look how much there is loads left there. It's enough for another two. And then just take a few of those off here. If I actually, if I take, I know I'm gonna need 19. Actually, if I, I'm gonna get exactly the right numbers out because I know then that um, I'm on the right track, right, the clasp. Yeah, clasp out of my stash and we are good to go. Right, so you're gonna start by picking up, oh, see this. Oh, Julie's saying, I was given a tip for threading the needle and that was to wet the 
needle line rather than a thread. It works for me. Interesting. I'm really, I, I will try that. I never ever heard of that one. It must be one of those old wife's tales, they say. That um, I will have, I will, I will try that next time when I thread a needle. Um, I'm always up for trying new things and trying new sort of ideas. Right, have I got, I got an arm spam here now. I think this needle is not quite right, but never mind. We're gonna go ahead, just pull this to right. Before I start, I can see my thread is quite a little bit twisted. So even before I start stitching, I'm gonna untwist my thread. So what I am going to do, I'm gonna pull this down all the way. You see, as, as I'm pulling my needle, you can see it's twisting up. So I know, I know the thread is twisted. So I'm not even gonna start before I'm untwisting it. I'm gonna bring you back to the main cam and I'm gonna show you how to untwist your thread. So if your thread is twisted, all you need to do, hold your needle up, um, index finger and thumb, and I'm pushing the thread against my index finger with my nail on my thumb, and I'm just gonna pull this down. I'm gonna pull, pull, and can you see how much is that spinning? That's my thread is untwisting as it all coiled up. Sometimes it happens. Um, and I'm gonna go again. You see it's not twisting so much. And just one last time. No, we are good to go. So I've got a nice and thre straight thread now to work with and hopefully we're not going to be having all those knots on there. Um, Louise is saying, I've been only beading for around eight months. I still can't thread a needle. Um, Began needles are my best friends. Oh, bless you. Um, I've been beading for, I don't know, 18 years now? Yeah, about that. Some days I can't thread a needle either. Right, let's get started. So, we got our materials. We got eight millimeter crystal beads, we got size 11 seed beads, and we just got a magnetic clasp. And um, what we're gonna use to, the magnetic clasp has got one loop on there on either side. And this, there is no cut in the loop, so it's a continuous loop. That's why I love using these ones. So you can very safely use it with thread, stitching through the loop, because you know it's not gonna come undone. So I'm gonna pick up one crystal bead and one seed bead just like that. I'm going to take this all the way down. Then I'm going to ignore the seed bead. So I'm going to pull the seed bead away. Let me just zoom in so you can see it better. And actually move some of these beads to the side so I don't have to cross the line of my hand. So I'm going to ignore the seed bead here, go back through, back towards my tail with the uh, through the crystal bead. So I just trapped the seed bead on the end of my crystal bead there, sitting on the top of it, just like a little bauble or bottle top. And then I'm gonna take my clasp, I'm gonna go through the loop on the clasp, and then I'm gonna knot my tail end and my thread together. So usually I am against the two knotting right at the beginning, but this time we can knot it together because we got a lot of space underneath this loop um, where the knot is gonna sit and it's not sit and it's not gonna bother us later on if you wanna go through the beads again. Zoom in a little bit more. That's it. So I'm just gonna take this up, do a right over left and then a left over right just a normal square knot and this gives you a really nice and strong base as well now as we are right here at the bottom we're gonna pick up nine seed beads one two three four five and nine and we're gonna go around and just go through this little seed bead we added on the top 
and then on the other side you're gonna pick up another nine and then we're gonna come back through the loop on the clasp so we added these beads between they look a little bit bigger at the moment but don't worry they're gonna tighten up just in a minute and then we're gonna take our thread through all of these beads here all on the side all the way to the top and you're gonna go into you're gonna go up all the way to the top to that top seed beads we had there which was sitting on the top of our crystal what we added right at the first time now we're gonna pick up one crystal bead we're gonna pick up one seed bead let them go all the way down again we're gonna disregard the seed bead come back through that crystal bead now you need to look at your locate which seed bead your thread is exiting exiting from so it's just that one there I want to go through this seed bead again but I want to go through the opposite direction so I'm going to have a thread on both sides um, locking this crystal to that seed bead so if my thread is coming out of the top here so I'm going to come through that seed bead from the bottom and I'm going to go through the next seed bead as well so I'm going to two seed beads at the same time and pull this up just like that so any questions so far I'll be all right it's very easy this is how we're gonna go along adding beads by beads um, all the way right from here we're gonna pick up seven seed beads and then we're gonna repeat five six seven we're gonna repeat what we did before we're gonna go through this little seed bead at the top picking up another seven and we're gonna come through at the bottom now you need to go through the seed bead in the middle and the seed bead before so I'm gonna go in I'm gonna just let me just bring it up so you can see it nice and close I need to go to three seed beads between the two crystals so the middle one is always the one we sewn on at the beginning with the crystals and I need to go through the one before and the one after so those are the three seed beads are always joining together let me just grab another color and show you if you can see it better on this one so can you see those three seed beads in the middle those are the ones that always go together and now all i'm going to do i'm going to follow my thread path through these beads on the side all the way to the top until i get to that middle bead and i go through that middle seed bead then i'm going to pick up a crystal i'm going to pick up another seed bead take let them go all the way down i'm going to come back through the crystal ignoring the seed bead and then going through that seed bead that middle seed bead from the other side and the one seed bead next door to it i'm picking up seven five six seven coming through the top then going down on the other side one two three four five six seven now i need to go through three so i'm going through the one before the middle the middle and on the other side and we got our third crystal added and all is it left i'm following my thread around here around these side beads all the way to the top finding the middle seed bead I have there sitting on the top of the hole of the crystal and going through that one and I'm going to repeat the same thing over and over again until I get all the way to the top just pull that and that a bit so how it's how easy is that good morning chef chef just joined us 
Uh, Minnie's saying, Brenda Jackson, I did it ages ago when I started, so we'll have a go again. Thank you. Um, Linda's saying, good morning, a little bit late this morning. Good morning to you, my lovely. Um, Brenda's saying, tension is the key. Don't have a loose one. It's a really lovely one to make up. So as I said earlier, the Brenda helped me to make up some of these bracelets. I have to really, really thank her, otherwise you would only have two colors to show. Um, bless her. Thank you so much. So she has made 11 of these bracelets so far. She's made all the different colors for me. I'm just showing them to you. And um, it's very easy. It doesn't take too long to make up either. I probably could maybe half an hour um 40 minutes if i just sitting there and doing doing it you can it does go grow very quickly as well and i'm coming to the three of the between the two crystals and just following the thread path around again to the top and i'm going to be adding next crystal what's happening with this needle Susan in asking something I absolutely love to have a tutorial how to take good photos of makes do you think that's something you could help with Kitty absolutely I have got so many different things <laughs> I would like to do um, tutorials and I would like to talk you through from like you know quite a lot of you not, not I, I think like you all here <laughs> because we enjoy making things and we enjoy making jewelry we enjoy tinkering it, it doesn't have to be jewelry it can be any craft so um, I always get uh, our questions asked like you know how to do photography how can I sell a few bits of pieces just to fund my hobby I guess so I can get more beads and uh, make even more so I am is in the making I'm gonna make a few videos sort of um, jewelry making best hints and tips and it will be coming but just the moment you're so so busy that there will be coming because I know quite a lot of you interested in that one if, especially now because we're trying to sell a lot of things online you can start sell things on Facebook Etsy and all sorts of places what you make and I know some of the places some of the people like Brenda she's got um, a little page selling her jewelry what she makes um, pretty much locally to her friends and family but it's all helps like you know it's just a few pennies in and um, then um, you know well, if it was me, I would probably end up just spending it more on materials. But there is stuff in the making for you. So next year, I'm going to do a few things like that. Right, I'm just adding the next crystal. I'm pulling this up. So, so far, this is my sixth crystal. Making sure this is nice and tight on the top. Actually, I might make this slightly smaller this bracelet four five six seven going through that one oh sandy's saying she's overslept oh bless you my lovely uh, we only just started with making we hugging our crystals with our seed beads very easy technique um when i was uh, working this stitch out and i really did over complicated first I tried to add another smaller crystal in the middle and do all sorts of things and I ended up like using so many different beads and and I just thought no actually this just have to be simple sometimes less is more and elegant I'm gonna need to re my thread is twisting again so that's telling me that my thread is twisted so i'm just going to hold it between my thumb and index finger pull it down all the way and just let it twist out so you can see it's twisting but don't get the knots in my beading as i bead okay 
and going all the way through. I'll see saying she would find that really useful as well. So do, I'll, I will, we're definitely going to be doing stuff like that. Because if you like me, well, you are like me because everybody's only got two wrists, um, one neck and two earlobes to wear jewellery on. So there comes a time when you're going to have so much jewellery that um, you're going to start gifting it or selling it. And like, you know, as well, when you make something and if it looks nice, like people around you will say, oh, where did you get that? And you say, oh, I made it. And it's just so, it's just so nice. There's the mystery around it, but like how? Because it's like knitting a jumper. Like I can knit and purl, but if there is a little bit of pattern in the in the making, in the uh, knitting itself, then that throws me right off. And I'm adding the next seven. So I'm going through the three beads between the two crystals. Let me just pull this through and I grab the other color and I show you because it showed up better. So when we circle back, we're gonna go through the bead before the middle, the middle, and one on the other side. So there's always three seed beads between. And then you're gonna get, because you you binding through the three seed beads between every single crystals with your loops, you're gonna get this look where the seed beads sitting sort of towards the bottom of the crystals and the crystals almost like popping out of your pattern. And when you wear it, they're just gonna really nicely sit on the top there. I'm just gonna follow my thread path to the top. I'm gonna find my middle seed bead and go through that one. And I know which one is the middle seed bead because if I bring it up, I'm not sure if you can see it, there's a thread on either side of it. As we when we were binding this to the crystal, there's a thread on either side of it. So I'm just gonna go through this, through that seed bead, I'm gonna pick up a crystal, gonna pick up a, a seed bead, let them go all the way down. I'm gonna ignore the seed bead, come back through the crystal. Oh, Jonathan is saying, I've just ordered the black crystal set. Oh, and the crystal streak it and some sparkly crystal spaces. I think I need to put my phone in the freezer and stop being impulsive. Um, but Janet, think about the hours of fun you're gonna have with it. I'm gonna go through the middle seed bead and the one next door, and I'm ready to pick up my seven seed beads, which are gonna go around the side. I think this is so true, like what the per, sort of person you are, because if you're a creative person, you rather have the materials there um, at your fingertips to create with done, have money in your bank account, and that's the constant um, sort of when, um, when we go on our buying trips and we buy stock and I buy so many colors and so many shapes of so many cybers. Simon always says to me, do you really, do we really need um, 15 colors? Do we really need like 10 different shapes? Do we really need 12 different sizes? Like the Miracle Beads, I just designed an icicle, which using 12, diff I'll, show, I'll give you a sneak peek. It's gonna be on Create and Craft tomorrow. tomorrow and um, hoping to launch on our own website next week as well. But um, I'll show you the icicle in a minute. So I had to order <laughs> 12 different size of Miracle Beads and it looks really, really good. So if you're a crafty person like me, I'd rather have, <laughs> I'd rather have the materials to work with than um, the money in my bank account. And then Simon, because he's got an accountancy background, that's that's um, that's what he's by trade. He's an accountant. He's on exactly the opposite side. So that's why <laughs> me and Sarah call her the money man because he's the other way around. So he rather like have money done materials to make things with, but he's not really, I guess, that crafty. 
So even if at home, if it's a wall need to be painted, it's me always doing it or anything creative like that. So I'm going to the tree in the middle. Uh, Sandy saying, oh, it's so pretty. Wish I lived closer so I could get orders quickly. We are not really using Sandy, to be honest. Oh, most of you do bundles as well and we keep going back and using the same bundle over and over again to create loads of different things most of the time we're using size 11 seed beads um, I prefer Toho ones because they're such a nice quality and a nice size as well there's other brands available but um, Toho ones are um, because they're nice and even they're really nice to work with they are from Japan and just crystals and pearls and beads, they, they measure the millimeter. And if you have a little stash at home, you pretty much, you can join in and make things as well. Because um, as I said earlier, that you could have, you could do this with crystals, but you could equally do it. Let me just get the pearl one. You could equally do it with pearls as well. I do love the, I love both of the looks. When I first did it, I did it with the, crystal, the, with the pearls and then I sort of had to go with the crystals and now I like the crystals better because it just gives that the extra sparkle but you could even alternate it you could have a crystal pearl crystal pearl it's uh, entirely your design Amina is saying Simon and I am in the same job oh bless I think sometimes Simon doesn't understand why do we need the absolutely need 12 different colors to work or 11 different colors to work with or 12 different sizes of beads to work with but we need it don't we do let me know if it's not only me do let me know and of course joe you could do it with miracle beads as well this pattern and going through the tree in the middle Um, interesting I have had some orders the next day but normally take three four days live in North West Scotland I think it's it depends where you live because like going back to the lockdown we had um, we were still working and sending out orders as norm, normal as much as we can and then some regions their orders were taking up to three weeks and other regions they were there like in two days so it's depending on where you live that um, how is the post service on your end as well as our end? The crystals are eight millimeter here, what I'm using, and size 11 seed beads. The kits are on the website. They are 9.99. Simon discounted down to 7.99 today for us. And um, one kit makes three bracelets. That's what you need to bear in mind. So for 7.99, you could sort out three people for Christmas or Make the three bracelet, one for yourself and two for other people. You could mix and match the colors. You could do all sorts of different patterns. Like, you know, I could have added, if I really wanted to dress it up, I could have do a red, green, red, green all the way along and make it really, really Christmassy. Or gold or really whatever color you would like to mix it with. There is so much you can do picked up my seven seed bead and I'm gonna go through this one on the top our oh, friend is saying you need different colors for different outfits yes you're absolutely right Brenda or if you are like me I mean at the moment obviously the shops are shut and hoping they're opening tomorrow you make the jewelry and then you go out and look for an outfit to match your jewelry Oh, Sandra is saying, I'm excited. My 12 days of Christmas has been dispatched. So the 12 days of Christmas bundles have left the warehouse yesterday and they should be with you, well, <laughs> as long as your postman takes, I guess, um, very soon. Now, the tw uh, I have to tell you the 12 days of Christmas is 12 different kits and we will be doing after Christmas 
So our starting was well, starting on Christmas Day actually because we wanted to take care of anybody who they own their own for Christmas to have something to do. So each day we will be making a piece of jewelry um, alongside and there's so many different techniques from Russian spiral to beaded chain to some more simple ones, some more delicate ones. Sarah's doing some as well, she's doing a chain mail with beads, all sorts of different um, techniques. And we created a bundle which has got 12 kits in there. Now usually this should be £120 and we're doing it £60 on the website. However, this sold out on Saturday. So um, because it takes so much time to make a bundle up. So think about it, you're getting 12 different, let me just unspin this, 12 different kits. It would take somebody to make at least two, two and a half hours to make one bundle up. So just sort of have to bear in mind how much sort of manpower we have in the warehouse um, to be able to make more up. But what Simon said to me, that if you have enough people signing, sort of um, some interest for it. So if you go on the page, it does say it's, it's sold out, but at the bottom, you can just add your email address in there. And if you get enough people interested in there, we will make more stock up, or he said he will make more stock up um, later on this week. So do pop on the website and just and add your email at the bottom. And then Simon will see if he can make more up. That coming along quite nicely. I got over half the bracelet. I got six beads left here to add on. Um, I never sew my class often for this reason. I use size eight seed beads and jump ring. And if glass breaks or tarnishes, then I can just replace easily with that ruining the bracelet hope this is help um <laughs> my postman always says more beads when he delivers my orders that's lucy saying um not a dig at tb your customer service is this patch is brilliant 12 out of 10. um i would thank you thank you so much angela i think the guy is trying like so basically simon is running the warehouse he, he's he's running the show there <laughs> with everybody and the guys are so great and even if i need anything um done they always they always come through and do it that's they're really nice like, like i feel like we got like a little tv family in there Right, Sue so is saying the trouble is we never seem to have right size colors, etc. Oh yes, I know that feeling. Either if you have thousands of beads with thousands of outfits, you always there, there's always room in my in my drawers. There's always room for just one more, <laughs> all the time. It used to be like shoes and handbags, and now it's more beads. Um, and saying, I didn't know the 12 days of Christmas have been out of stock. I look to, uh, forward to the kids arriving soon. Yes, if so that on Saturday, I didn't <laughs> think we, we made up um, a certain amount of kids. And I didn't, um, well, I didn't know that because this is the first ever year done something like this, that to, instead of counting down to Christmas, I wanted to do something after Christmas because um, you are so busy running up to Christmas. You're always like sorting out the children, the decorations, cleaning the house, and you have to sort out the food. And then after Christmas Day, I always felt like, so now what? And then you're sort of looking forward to the New Year's, and and there's just not really much happening after Christmas, after the sort of the lot of running up to it. So I thought instead of doing an advent calendar, let's do 12 days of Christmas so we can make something each day from Christmas Day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
but the seed beads are size 11 what I'm using and the crystals are 8 millimeter you could um, probably try it with um, pearls any 8 millimeter beads Merkle bead glass bead opaline anything 8 millimeter I think this stitch would really really lovely bit very easy ones as well I'm almost to the end of the base I've only got a few more to add um, Sue's asking would this work with crystal runnels you might have to adjust the seed beads on the side to um, as you're adding larger or smaller beads because the rondelles they might be squishy they squishier the outside diameter is not going to be the same as on the rounds so you might have to adjust the number of seed beads you're picking up on the sides just picked up seven and going through the top seed bead again and I'm almost right on the top and coming through the middle three um Lauren is saying a totally beads advent color would be brilliant a little bead kit especially bead surprise every day would be lovely I, we have thought about it, we talked and talked and talked and I think we talked the socks of the cat and the dog and everybody together with Sarah about the advent calendar versus the 12 days of Christmas and like my, I always said that running up to Christmas, I mean this year is a little bit different because we haven't got Christmas parties and we haven't got friends but you got so much to sort out every single day and it's just for me to sit down and make something apart from if you do like a little earring calendar where you could all you would be doing is just earrings for running up to Christmas um, all sorts of different colors it's not really I, have, I wouldn't have the time just myself I wouldn't have the time to sit down and make and that's after Christmas we all sort of done the shopping done the family done the cleaning done done the christmas dinner done everything else and i feel that um and then i have i i can take time for myself and not feel guilty about it at all so i can i think did i miss a bead out yes i need to step back just one sec because i didn't go through one of the seed beads in the middle this neat chatting here so much Let's see if I can stitch back if that works if not no that's fine because then I would have to take the needle off my thread so that's why in the end we decided to go with the 12 days of Christmas because then after Christmas we got more time to spend on our hobbies and do bits of pieces as well and then you get more sort of enjoyment out of it you don't have to rush it so we see the uh, I'm so so pleased that uh, people like the idea and so many of you lovelies have got it that uh, um I'm re I'm really over the moon because Simon bless him he was first he was a little bit sick because like you what you want to do now because I come up with all these different ideas I was like I want to do this and I want to do that and I want to do like you know 12 days of Christmas and I want to do this and and he he's on board with everything so don't it's, it's not like but um he sort of have to think it through I mean I'm I'm the sort of person I run you know uh, on, on a thousand mile per hour I guess um and often I sort of think it through in my head <laughs> and have a little conversation with myself in the head when I'm working at something and I tell the last couple of sentences to Simon and then he doesn't understand it. But I'm, I'm really, really pleased with the 12 days of Christmas. And it's gonna be so much fun. 
I'm just coming back to that crystal and I think I only got one more to add I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller so no actually yeah it's gonna just gonna make it one bit smaller so I'm the, on the next crystal on the next crystal I am going to be adding the other loop the other side of the clasp Oh, Brand is saying he's worried that you will be overdoing things too as well because I think I I I always say that I am I am really really lucky because I do my job is is I love my job and I love doing what I do I love creating patterns I love playing with my beads I just I don't feel it as a job I don't sort of get up in the morning and oh I have to bead again. I'm, I'm never like that I'm always I really really enjoy it so therefore I don't feel sort of I don't really feel it's a job I you know and I just carry on I just keep on working and sometimes I'm down here in the office until 10 o'clock half past 10 at night beading away and doing my things I put something on the computer to watch and I'm just beading 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 and I think from Simon point of view is saying like oh what will you work so many hours you don't need to do that much and um but for me it's not work I feel like I'm having fun um Sandy so saying I want to do with all different package of sets one of the three packs I sold out do you have any idea when they will back in stock I received other two packs so Sandy on the third one I'll just very quickly show you and then I'll be gonna go on to how to finish this off so on the third one so this one is in stock the blue one is in stock and then we got the neutrals which is the the blue one is sort of blues and greens and there is a gray in there just let me just zoom out just a tiny bit and then you got your neutrals which is your blacks whites and browns and what's out of stock is the pinks um, purples um, red and um, yellow now there's only one spool one color which is this burgundy which is out of stock and that's why we can't do the mix we have um, it's been out of stock from the supplier for about six months a long long time so I, I'm not sure if they're discontinuing that color what you can do Sandy if you give a little um, or phone in or give a little text or email to the guys at the work and say I would like mix three which is the warm colors but um, I know you haven't got the burgundy so can I have an extra purple or an extra pink because I know I'm gonna or an extra cream because I know I'm gonna use that use that the more and then you can have that pack one as well just ask them to replace the burgundy with um, with another color and I just added all my threads into one of these necklaces this is just a tiger tail necklace I think we sell them on the website for a pound and then it's very easy to work with and it's always yeah there is the end of look it's just a necklace it's always there um, all the colors are there for me to work with so that's that's the thread but do just give them a text and say I would like Right, so we are got to the other side and we're going to be adding the clasp here. Um, people are asking from Creation Station. So last night at Creation Station we were doing, uh, we were playing around with the bubble decorations which we're going to continue uh, next week. Um, it's gone to my YouTube which is Kitty Robinson Designs and I can see Molly has added the link up make sure if you pop on there subscribe and like the page so you get notifications when I go live there and um, if you do like I always uh, forget to say this but if you do like our tutorials and our Facebook lives do give us a like and share the video with your friends so we can inspire more uh, lovely people and get them into the crafting right we adding the class on the other end and it couldn't be sort of an easier no difference what we did to the stitch so far we're gonna pick up the crystal and then we're gonna go through the loop on the clasp take it all the way down I'm gonna come back through the crystal zoom back in just a bit I'm gonna come back through the crystal I'm gonna locate the seed bead the middle seed bead I'm coming out from I'm gonna come from the other side through that bead and the bead next door 
and pull this up nice and tight. And now I'm going to pick up eight seed beads. Because I haven't got the extra at the end. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. And I'm just going to go to loop on the clasp. Pick up another eight. And then come back through the three in the middle. And with that, we have made our bracelet all the way up. I'm going to go up and around the clasp one more time and then I'm going to run down on one side of the bracelet because at the moment you can see, well, let me just turn it nice to the side, so at the moment our seed beads sitting in the middle of our crystals but the minute we run down on the side and run back on the other side that's when it pulls your beading tighter and it pulls the seed beads to one side of your crystal so it's going to just sit slightly below if you want to leave it that it sits in the middle then you can stop here and you don't need to run up and down but if you want that look when it sort of pops out to see the the um, crystals are good let me just get another color as well so the crystals would pop out from your um, seed beads and when you do that it slightly sort of curves starts to curve your bracelet as well let me just zoom out a little bit starts to curve your bracelet as well and uh, makes your bracelet even nicer and stronger um, question why don't your spools have loads of thread having off because when I cut them when I cut them I do cut them quite tight to the um, to the end and the, they, they sort of stays on there. So Sukulon is a pre-vaxed thread and um, you sort of have to pull it off. Right, I'm gonna go back up to the top through the loop of the clasp and I'm gonna run down on one side of the bracelet and run back up on the other side. And that's it. I'm going down on this side. Gary think I was thinking the same one that always I'm doing. If you cut them quite nice and short to the spool itself, if you have got one of those little plastic spools, they will undo, but there is um, a little trick what you can do with that one as well. I don't think I got any of those to hand, but I'll show you that one as well so i'm just all i'm doing i'm just running down on the side i'm not going into any of the three seed beads i'm just running along stitching all these seed beads together so when i get to the corner here i just jump into the next loop and all the way down going just like that I love this stitch because it's quite simple as well using very simple and minimalistic materials you are using seed beads and eight millimeter beads we can create this lovely effect it's like we had the bead club last week we were doing the chenille stitch and again that's such a lovely stitch and you're only using two different sizes of seed beads but you're creating a lovely pattern binding your beads together So sometimes from the minimalistic materials, you can make such a lovely things. So don't forget, we got 20% off on the website today for these bracelet kits. And um, not along we got 20% off. Remember, each kit for $7.99 will be making three bracelets. So there's three clasps in there. there are the seed beads in there and the whole strand of crystals are in there. So if you're a beginner, you can learn the technique. You, can, you get this printed out instructions with the kit as well. So that's coming to you. And 
don't forget if you're a beginner you can learn you can practice and you can perfect and that goes for everything the more you do a stitch or the more you do a certain technique the more it sort of goes into your memory and and stays there and it's and your tension is gonna get nicer as you go along Um, so Sandy's saying it's beautiful. I missed Thursday's class, so I haven't started the chenille yet. Um, if you pop into your group, lovely, the, you can cont you can watch the video and watch the class tonight. Um, Brand is saying minimal effort, maximum effect. Yes, that's exactly right. I think one, two, oh no, 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 one, two, three, four, five. Look, I made a mistake here, and I'm going to show it up and point out because. One, two, three, four, five. I should have six beads on the side, and in that loop, I only have five. So I'm not going to take my bracelet back up. I'm going to show you a little cheat what I'm going to do. So <laughs> basically, there is a seed bead missing there. And I'm just going to go ahead as I'm running down on the side. I'm going to go and pick up a seed bead, and I'm going to go. I'm going to go into the. I'm going to loop around first actually because I need to connect to that seed bead as well so I'm going to pick up the extra seed bead I'm missing I'm going to pop into my loop the, the, the three seed beads between and make sure this is nice and tight just twist it sometimes it's worth to take your pattern back and but sometimes you can add an extra seed bead so I'm just gonna this this is going off road at the moment because um, off the stitch because you shouldn't be doing this but I miss I was missing a seed bead there what annoying thing is like that when you're beading for I don't know half a day and then you find that you're missing a bead so I just added that seed bead so you can see it's a little bit sticks up and I went around that crystal so I am um, connected it there and I'm just going back into that seed bead and along the next side continuing my way down at the bottom and when you look at it from the top you can see a little thread on the side of that seed bead but you can only see that if you really look at it very close so when you're wearing it no one will know that um, you missed the seed bead and you had to add one in there so it happens to all of us especially like let me do the lives and you have to talk and um, count at the same times um, sometimes you miss miss to pick up a bead I'm right down at the bottom I'm just gonna go in around these seed beads into my clasp the loop on the clasp Susan is saying that looks pretty with the crystals. I made one with pearls. Let's pull this tail up and now I'm going to run back on the other side. I've got plenty of thread here left. I've probably got about a feet and a half thread left. So I'm going to run all the way this side. Um, Janet is saying I struggled with the Chanel, Chanel stitch then finally got it now I love it and and maybe slightly obsessed yes so we do those of you who are not in a beat club we do a beat club on Thursdays and Fridays which is like a closed group and we do workshops over zoom so every single is Thursday night and Friday morning we would do a workshop and um, last week is a Chanel stitch this week we are doing Gem Duo Stars, next week we are doing a Christmas bauble and then Sarah's doing a nice woven bracelet before we uh, break up for Christmas. And um, it's just so much fun because I love doing the lives and I love um, you know showing you all sorts of different techniques but with the Zoom classes I get feedbacks as well so I, you get to talk to me as I'm talking to you. And I just love it so much to sort of connect with like-minded people. Right, now, because I had to go around one extra time, those seed beads, it looks like, I might, no, that's gonna go through. Sometimes when you 
have to go through a particular seed bead many times, it, the thread fills up the hole in the seed bead and you're not, not, then you're not able to go through it anymore. So there's a couple of things you can do then. The first thing I would do, I was actually just fine going through here, but the first thing I would do is to get uh, slightly through the needles. So if I've been working with size 10 needles, then I would add a size 11 or size 12 needle to my thread. And more often you find then your needle will go through it because you, you're trying to then push through a thinner needle or you just have to sort of go around that bead and follow your pattern if you're doing a particular different stitch whichever way you can our Lord is saying we'll be seeing stars this week yes and the, the stars are quite easy to make and they're quite quick as well so you could have it you could make them for Christmas Lucy is saying the Zoom classes are more personal, it's a lovely group and nice to be able to interact back even, so I'm always nervous. Oh, um, yes, so the, the good thing about the Zoom class as well, so if as we're learning the stitch, as we're doing or, or anything we, we're doing, um, Sarah did the poinsettia flowers on there um, the week before, um, you are able to go to the camera, hold it up and say, oh, can you help with me this because I'm stuck here and then I can look at it and work it out and sometimes you know it's really sometimes you, you are at the right place but you just sort of just doesn't look quite right or your tension is and I can quite easily tell you to put you in the right track to continue your beading and I love um, our little classes because the ladies are really really lovely in there and just I'd love to have a little chat love, love the little social interaction but if you don't have to, we always give the option. You don't. If you don't have to, you don't have to put your camera on, or you. If you don't want to, you don't have to talk at all. It's entirely up to you. You are in control in the class if you want to be seen or heard. But I love it. I'm almost down to the bottom. So I'm just reinforcing this side as well and actually our bracelet is pretty much ready I'm just going on the side I'm Linda saying I love the bead club it's great fun Diane saying question do we just need two colors of gem girls for stars for the class so you could do with the stars you could have up to three colors of gem girls. you can do it in one color if you like I like to add two colors in there because it just adds that little bit of extra dimension and extra color but um, again, it's your design. You could do as many colors as you want or about well, up to three colors. Adding in there or shades of colors that looks nice as well. So your star could be, I don't know, um, darker purple in the middle and the lighter purple um, on the outside of it or, or plum color in the middle and pink on the outside or um, silver in the middle and gold on the outside. It's really a sub to you how you want to make it and all is that in the beat club this thursday there's still time to join um if you want molly if you're still watching can we please have the link for the beat club go and check it out you can join just as a single class but the huge benefit of it if you do join the beat club there is a community behind it we got a special facebook group for your beat club where we post the classes the recording of the zoom classes in there afterwards so if you did if you missed the class because perhaps you know you had an appointment or you need to do something you could go in there and watch it there is also you can ask questions and connect the like-minded people there as well so that's and not to mention if you sign up you only be paying at the moment because it's an offer six pound for a two-hour zoom class um, every week which I think you know that that's really the bare minimum we, we have to sort of charge to be able to run them so we can have loads of fun right I went all the way down all is left to do is to do a couple of one thread knots and knot my um, thread as I go along onto the side and then we got a lovely bracelet now I made this a little bit smaller so it's not my size but I've got I'm gonna give this away as a presence for somebody 
So that's it. That's really how easy it's thing. Lucy's saying, I love Beat Club. It's nice to be a part of something. Oh, bless you. I, I love it too. Linda's saying, I love the Beat Club. It's great fun. Um, um, Jean's saying, I really enjoyed the Beat Club and looking forward to this week. And I think that's exactly is that like, you know, over the time, if you, if you join the class just as a, a, a one, one time you you get to learn a technique but if you become a member of the beat club you are there every single week and you can see like you know and, and you the ladies are there and, and you get to know each other and get to have invested in each other's lives and have a chat and i, I, I really i really do love it and get to know what people are up to and what they're doing and then you can hang out afterwards in the a group as well on facebook um, Patricia saying, I would love to join the Beat Club. I have lots of stitches that I would like to learn. That's great. So if you do join the Beat Club, Patricia, in the group, in the Beat Club, we got a poll running right at the top where you can suggest what stitch you want to do. And then we'll do our very best to um, add a workshop for that stitch on in the next uh, three months. I'm in a process now to putting together sort of January, February, March workshops with Sarah. So all suggestions are really good to in the Beat Club because um, we will do all sorts of different things. And because we've got a little bit more time there, so we got an hour, well, we got, two, we got, we got about an hour here, but we got two hours there and we do log in before. So probably about two and a half hours to almost three hours every time we have we can make much more right that's it for me today i just want to show you all the colors again so that was the red i demoed with there is there is so many lovely colors here i couldn't just have my <laughs> i couldn't just have two colors you know me i had to have all the colors um what i can make up i guess so that's the red one then you have the lovely amethyst ab you also have this one is hematite seed beads with black um crystals and that one is called um hematite on the website then you got black seed beads with silver crystals and that one is called monochrome on the website then you have here the champagne which is um a sort of a goldy seed bead with the champagne crystals then you have um this one is called um what she call this hematite Oh, hold on, I might have been. Where is this one then, the black one? Oh, she called that one black diamond, and this one is hematite, but this one is more like navy blue to me. You also have a Caribbean blue. You have this one, which is called teal. You have green. Um, it's more like a C4 green color. Um, you have pink, which is a very pastel pink crystals with crystal AB, white crystal AB crystal with pastel pink seed beads and this one is called um, silver dust. Yes, so that one is called black diamond and that one is called that hematite. They are really, really lovely. One kit will make you three bracelets. Could you join another row from the other side? You know, I haven't thought about that, but I don't see why you couldn't. Where is my other red bracelet that I was just making? You could even have it. So yeah, I reckon you could, because what you could do, so any of you done the flat spiral bracelets, you could start with another row, and when you're picking up one side, you just pick up two, go to the two in the middle on the um, this side and then pick up another three and into your seed bits. So you could have multiple rows of this ones. Yeah, you could just have to, yeah, you would join the sides together. You'd join a couple of seed beads on the sides together, you could do. Alon is saying thank you to everyone. Love your tutorial again today. Bye everybody. See you tomorrow morning. Um, what will Stara be doing tomorrow, please? I think she's playing around with some bugle beads as well. Um, but I'll I will let you know. Um, 
Molly's properly added the uh, event to the Facebook so just pop there and have a look let me just turn the camera back around um, right so that's it do check the things that the kids add on the website check out 12 days of Christmas if you are interested in it add your email address so you get notifications if you do add more don't forget show the miracle icicles Joe I almost forgot it let me just grab them So I, I just, I couldn't stop myself last night. I was supposed to do my nails. Let me just turn the camera back down. I was supposed to do my nails, make them pretty. And what happened is I started to make these icicles and I couldn't stop myself. Look at these. So how great they're gonna look hanging down from the window. So the whole key to this one, it's a really, really easy technique and you're just gonna make a loop at top on the bottom you're gonna add your miracle beads in the sizes and then you're gonna wire wrap like a crystal three millimeter crystal beads let's just get rid of this red beads off you go red bead we don't want you anymore we want to look at these ones so you're just gonna be adding the three millimeter crystal bicon beads to spiral around them. But when you hang them up in the window, these are gonna be looking really, really great. In the bundle kit, what we added together, you will be able to make six of a larger crystal um, drops. So you will be able to, able to six like that, or you're gonna be able to make 12 a smaller one, or, or a, a combination of the two. So you don't have to have you might just want six small one and then well, the six large no three large ones and you can make six small ones so when you put it up in the window you could have one large one and two small one next to it um, in your window that would look really really good um, so this is why I had to get 12 different sizes of miracle beads in from in from our supplier and Sam was like what do you need 12 miracle be first size of miracle beads for it and I said oh we'll just wait and look and it's gonna look really really good so it's very very simple design very very simple make but because we get that effect with the miracle beads um, I think they're gonna look really really great hanging down in the window I certainly gonna be putting these ones up I've got quite a few more look I, I really really got carried away yesterday and made loads of them um, so this one is, hasn't got the decoration on it already. You can just leave just the bees themselves. So it's really a sub to you. You don't have to add the crystals on the top. I just think the crystals on the top just gives that extra sort of spiral decoration. But um, I will certainly be putting them up in my window when, um, when we finish decorating. So in the bundle, you're gonna have six sets of beads of 12 different sizes and um, 10 strands of the crystal bicones so that you've got a lot of bicones on there and all the wire and everything else you need to make with it. I tried to do it with tiger tail and I tried to do it with all sorts of different bits of um, materials. I had quite a good play with this but the wire is the best one because it keeps it nice and straight. Oh, Joe's asking when are you doing this? So these are going on Create and Craft tomorrow. We're launching them on Create and Craft tomorrow and then we will be doing a Facebook Live um, I'm not probably supposed to um, tell you, but it will be next Monday. <laughs> um, I need those decorations, Susan is saying. Um, you can hang those in swirl clips. They will spin to catch lights. Yes, that's a really good idea as well, Lorna. Um, Janet's saying good idea. Yes, so this is going on, um, on tomorrow. 9 a.m. on Create and Craft, but it will be a Facebook Live next Monday for us as well. And then I can show you and talk you through exactly how to make, give you different designs options as well. But I'm gonna be putting them up. Once they finish decorating, they're gonna be going up in my window and I think they're gonna look great. I just love every single year to make some decorations for Christmas, even if just adding a little bits to it, not, um, you know, just a little bit of, um, sparkly tray last year we did the candle holders i did um 
I did some baubles as well last year with the poinsettia again this year we had the poinsettia as a workshop um, and these are the new and we have the, the miracle bead angels and these are the new ones for this year I really I've, I loved making them right a better run I'm off to I need to go to the warehouse to get ready for the show tomorrow I will be doing it through zoom again because at the moment there is no hotels open so there's no more me to stay in Peterborough so I'm gonna be coming into creative crime I uh, will we get the same price as creating craft please yes you will Simon always does that they give you the same offer but you get it on create and craft um anyway so that's it for me today um join Sarah tomorrow morning here on Toe to the Beads um if you are in the bead club then I will see you on Thursday and Friday and if you're not in a bead club then go ahead and head over to the bead club website and check it out to join in to the fun otherwise I will be doing all the Christmas trees I haven't showed you the Christmas trees and I know we've been here for such a long time but I'm doing the Christmas trees um, it's gonna be a Facebook live it's a paid event so it's cost $1.99 to come and watch it it's gonna be for like three four hours we're gonna be sitting there and making the Christmas tree together and that will be on Saturday on 1 p.m. I got um, you can make them in all sorts of different colors i guess but um that's what we're going to be doing saturday at 1 p.m so do check it out on the website i have listed it in um the totally beads um there's another, another green one i have those i have listed it in the totally beads events as well so do check it out and get the link and have a look 1.99 on saturday afternoon to join in the fun i did think about to set it up a zoom class but then it would have to charge much more so um we're just doing it for 1.99 um on saturday afternoon do get um do join us as well right I have to go now so i'll see you later on this week on sunday night i will be on my channel kitty robinson designs to the usual sunday night chat everybody have a lovely week and i will see you soon keep on beating